Hi, dyslexic genius here, Brett Hurt. I'm back on the Edison home. I finally got it back from the strippers. And I'm going to show you how to prep it for painting. But when you paint, you have to be in a temperature range of about 55 to 60 so the paint will stick and not crinkle or anything. And right now, winter, it's a little tough to do that. But I'm going to talk about the prepping. After stripping, I take a sanding block, a foam one like this, and 320 and start to work everything out because the foam can get in these edges like in here. You can mold it in to clean up and then I will then I will go all the way down to 600 sanding that. But what you have to do to prep these for painting is the rail here, this is where the carriage rides, this has to be masked off and any running surface has to be masked off. Because this is a ground up, everything has to be repainted. So what I, what you do is you lay the blue masking tape for painting, this stuff, and you'll just tape the rail off and gently at about a 45 degree angle, you'll just come in here and cut it off on each edge. You'll hit the edges right there. Then how do you do the holes for the lead screw and the screws. I get little screws that are the same thread size, you know, but a little loose, and I just stick them all in all the little holes. And then you curl up paper to put in here so the paint doesn't build up in there. And how I do that is, say we have to do this hole, and it's about a quarter inch wide. So I take a three by five card that I just cut it up, and you guesstimate like that. Now you just take a small rod like this, just a very small rod, and you roll it up around the rod. Like that. Then you stick it in the hole, let the paper expand and pull the rod out, and now it's set in here. You also, critical, you have to blue tape all this in where the reproducer sits, just like that. Because if this is full of paint, you can't get the reproducer in, and I have to go back and do that. And what I do is I just, I tape like this, like my finger, I just take little pieces of tape, and then I work it into the recess area of the carriage and mold everything in. And you'll do this to every part. You'll do it to the end gate, this piece, and the other pieces. And then it'll be a whole bunch of light coats. You won't put on one heavy one. The other thing is, which is interesting, and most people don't know this, I've, we've already done the ID tag, you can see that. Well, here's the serial number, 2184. Three, two, one, four, eight, four, eight. And here it is. So they are stamped underneath the ID tag. And what's very impressive, they're stamped underneath also. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, on, on homes like this, it's hard to mask this off. I've, I've done this a lot. So years ago, I built this aluminum piece and it just fits over there like that. You can still spray around everything. I'll just put a little bit of blue tape on the top and then when it's done, you pop that off and you're ready to go. You can do this with a piece of wood dowel or anything you have handy at home. This is a lot of fun. I just wanted to show you prepping before painting. You got to remember also 55 degrees or over to spray. And that's my tip for the day.